I'll keep that eye open. So diffuse SCH. And it's got hyphema. That's that bleeding that continues to be a problem here. Uh, 1.7 millimeters. Clotted heme superiorly around two and ACI well. Okay, look down for me. Tube well covered, tube in a good position. Look straight ahead for me. And three plus SPK. Chambers deep. Let's check eye pressure. All the way forward there. Okay, just make sure you're not holding your breath. Just make sure you're breathing normally. All right, so Roderick, we're definitely moving in the right direction. It's still elevated, but better than what it was. We're getting 33, okay? So remember, the tube function is going to improve as time goes on, and it's going to open up completely about six weeks or so postoperatively. Okay? Um, 33. And the bleeding that you currently have in the eye is likely the same type of bleeding that caused the eye pressure issue to begin with mm -hmm. from the diabetes. It's something that Dr. Jack will have to evaluate. And it's also something that he'll want to look at in the right eye to make sure you're not at risk for the same thing happening in the right eye. So when his office calls you, his clinic calls you, and you know recommends a follow-up, make sure you keep that appointment. That's going to be important. That's next do, Thursday. Do, do okay. Next oh, perfect, perfect. They schedule it next Thursday. Yes, okay. next Thursday. Excellent. Um, maybe we could coordinate. We did. We did, okay. <laughs> All right, you guys are on it. You guys already have the time. We did it. Now let's talk about activity restrictions. you got to take it easy. Don't do anything strenuous, especially this first couple of weeks after oh. the surgery. No okay. heavy lifting, no bending over. If you have really bad coughing or you know sneezing or something like that, make sure you call your doctor, your primary doctor, to prescribe some medications to help control those things because they can affect how the eye heals if you're coughing or sneezing get too bad. Um, same thing with constipation. If you become constipated, make sure you ask your primary care doctor or get over-the-counter stool softeners or something okay. to help with that because that can also put pressure around the eye. The other thing would be the eye drops that you're on. We want to make sure that you're on all the appropriate eye drops as you heal from this. Number one will be the steroid drop, the prednisolone. That's four times a day for the first week. Then each week we taper off of it. Four, three, two, one, stop. Ofloxacin is the antibiotic drop. To keep it easy, let's do that four times a day as well. Okay. But that's only for one week, then you stop it. Okay. Okay. All the pressure drops that you have been using, keep those going the same. Oh, okay. Okay, no changes there. How about the pill? Are you still on that methazolamide pill? I didn't do it yesterday because okay. after surgery they yep. told me to stop, but when I was in the ER, yep. the guy told me to continue, but okay. I haven't given him one today, okay. but I can. You don't have to. Okay. Especially because the pressure is already trending down. Okay. Maybe we ought to just wait and see, see. how he does with the okay, drops. Cool. Okay, cool. Okay. And then just hang on to the pills in case we have right. to turn to them, but let's not use them for okay. now. Okay. Okay. Um, the surface of the eye is going to be pretty scratchy. So if you find yourself reaching up and trying to rub, you may want to wear that clear plastic shield even during the day. And then we could put those uh, tear tearing... Yep, okay. tear, artificial tears anytime you want to because okay. it's still dry, pretty dry on the surface. Okay. So, yeah, and, and I would recommend like every couple of hours if you can okay, well, on those tears. Okay. What pressure drops were you using? Um, which ones were you on? Should be on the previous note. 